Good day, everyone. Another musika siyahang moment once again. I'm your musika siyahang teacher, Mom K, for today. Before we move on to more exciting discussion, I want you to focus on the picture. Do you still remember this scene? You're right. It's an animal race. Who runs fast? And who runs slow? Yes, the hare runs fast and the turtle moves slowly. In music, we also have speed, which determines the mood being conveyed, such as happy, sad, festive, and sorrow. Would you like to know more about speed in music? Come join me! In identifying the different musical tempo. Are you ready? Let's go! Human, animals, and objects move in different speed. Speed is about the way something moves or runs, be it slow or fast. But in music, the speed is known as tempo. Tempo is an Italian word for time. It indicates the speed at which a piece of music should be played. It is written above the first bar on a piece of sheet music. If the tempo of a musical piece suddenly changes, there will be a new tempo given, usually marked above or below a staff of a specific music section. Typically, the speed of the music is measured in beats per minute or BPM. For example, if you listen to the second hand of a clock, you will hear 60 ticks or in musical terms, 60 beats in one minute. The tempo can have almost any amount of bits per minute. The lower the number of bits per minute, the slower the tempo will feel. Inversely, the higher the number of bits per minute, the faster the tempo will be. They may be ranged from very slow, moderate, or fast. A sad song is usually slow, while a happy song is fast. Tempo is found in our everyday life. It can also be seen in the movements of the animals and insects. Isn't tempo very interesting? Now, watch this. A snail, an elephant, a bumblebee, a horse, and a dog. They move in different speed. We can compare their movements with a tempo in music. To easily understand the concept of tempo, let's observe the movements of the following animals and insects. How does a snail move? Correct! It moves slowly. In music, it may be compared to Largo, meaning slow. And for Andante, it means moderately slow or at a walking pace like an elephant. How about a dog? A dog runs fast. In music, we can compare its movement to allegro or fast. Next is vivace. On the other hand, means lively and fast. It is quicker than allegro. A horse runs in this manner, especially when it runs in a race. 
see the rapid changing flying pattern of a bumblebee? It resembles extremely fast or presto tempo in music. How about the terms we use to determine the change in tempo? How do we call them? Have you seen an airplane taking off the runway? It's slowly ascending faster, same in music. The term is called accelerando. On the other hand, when a train, bus, car, or other means of transportation nearly approaching their destination, they gradually slow down. We call it retardando. To deepen our understanding about tempo, let's listen to the following songs. Here we go! Music number one. Music number one is Largo or it has very slow tempo. Next is music number two. Music number two is in Andante or at a walking pace. How about music number three? Music number three is Allegro or it has fast tempo. This is music number four. Music number four is Vivace or lively and fast. It is quicker than Allegro. How about music number five? It is presto or very fast. Music number six. It is accelerando, or ascending or getting faster. Now, let's proceed to music number 7. It is retardando, a gradual change to slower tempo. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from our discussion. This time, let's have some fun doing this activity. What you're gonna do is to identify the different tempo through listening. 
listen carefully. Are you ready? Let's start. Music number one. Is music number one, letter A, Largo, B, Vivace, C, Allegro, or D, Accelerando? Excellent! The correct answer is A, Largo. Now, let's listen to music number two. Is music number two A. Largo B. Vivace C. Andante or D. Ritardando Very good! B. Vivace is the correct answer. Now, music number three. Music number three, A, Presto, B, Ritardando, C, Andante, or D, Allegro. Very good! D, Allegro is the correct answer. Since we're almost done, let's try to sum up what we have learned. What is tempo? Tempo indicates the speed or pace of the music. It tells how fast or slow the music is. What is the importance of tempo? It helps in conveying a certain mood of the composition or music which is being played. For your assignment, Let's try to focus on the following instructions. Match the words in column A with their meanings in column B. Use your paper and pencil to do this. You can submit them to your teacher upon the retrieval of the modules. Kids, I hope you enjoyed a lot in our lesson. Try to apply what you have learned about tempo while listening to your favorite song. And that's all for today. Once again, I'm Teacher K. See you next time!